It's time to take a look back and a glimpse ahead with the Rise Hoops Rewind and Fast Forward. Corey McCartney joined by Rise Hoops, Dan McDonald and Carter Wilson. Fellas, good to have you back. Good to be, Corey. Now let's rewind on the Hoops weekend. And Carter, we'll start with you. And I know you had your sights on Xavier Siney, Elijah Tucker, and this guy absolutely put on a show for Cherokee. Yeah, and I mean, it's almost like rewinding the full year. So if you take kind of the full spectrum and just the course that he's taken throughout the season so far, he's, just, he's getting better and better. Each game, he's, he's better each time out. Um, and you, like you said, this past week, a rivalry game against Sequoia, he was huge, and then another big game against, against Heritage. Um, he's, he's a really unique player. You know, he's got size. He's got, he moves really well. He's got great athleticism. So when his motor is actually running on high, he's a rare – a rare talent that we only get, you know, maybe one or two of per class. I think given a lot of time, he's, he's going to be a really good player at the next level because he's just, he's so unique and he can be so versatile. Dan, I want you to take us inside what you, I know you were excited about here. Uh, these last few seconds of what went down between Sandy Creek and Wheeler. Yeah. So the Sandy Creek Wheeler game it was just, it was an awesome game start to finish. The second quarter got a little dull, but that was because Sandy Creek really jumped on Wheeler. And a large part of that was Jabari Smith was just, dominant on the defensive end. I mean, I think he had probably 12, 13 blocks for the game. But Wheeler kind of stormed back from a 14-point deficit in the second half. And I don't know if they had a lead at all the whole half until the very final seconds when Coach Thompson called a timeout with about 15 seconds left, drew up a great play that got Jaheim Hudson a dunk, right? I think about four or five seconds left. And then Sandy Creek threw up a shot at the buzzer but didn't go. But it was just an awesome, awesome game, really competitive game between two of the best teams in the state. So that was, that was really exciting to watch. As you fast forward to the week ahead, I know you're both focused on some big-time events and matchups. Dan, what's in store for the GBCA showcase at Norcross? Yes, yeah, so there's another one of these events around here. There's just It's all the top teams coming in. It's Nor Norcross is hosting it, and, but you got teams like Milton and McEachern and Burkmar and North Gwinnett. And what I'm really excited about is we get to see Kwesi Reeves coming up from uh, Westside Macon to play in that event. So I don't think the schedule is completely finalized yet because I think that's some cancellations, but it should be a really good event starting early afternoon and going into the night. So I'm, I'm really excited to see all these top teams again. Hey, all right then. Carter, I know you've got a couple of matchups that you've got zeroed in on. Break them down for us. Yeah, uh, tomorrow I think we got a good south side battle. Uh, Forest Park and Jonesboro, both teams have started off the season really well, undefeated so far. Um, it, it's, it's those matchups kind of like the bring your hard hat matchup, like just hard nosed teams that get after it. Um, it, it should be one that's a lot of fun. And then another one I'm looking at is, uh, over on the East side is uh, heritage and Newton. Um, I'm looking at it as kind of like a changing of the guard kind of, if you look at it, uh, new heritage with two outgoing guards, James White, who's going to Ole Miss and RJ Nord uh, headed to Elon. And then Newton's group is just full of these young kids. I mean, they're 2023 class, they're sophomores, are unbelievable. Uh, Stephon Castle, Ja'Kai Newton, Quay Brown, and then uh, MJ Whitlock has hit the scene pretty well these last couple games too. So uh, it's kind of like an, an old versus young. So I like the dichotomy in that one. Well, be sure everyone out there is getting the entire Rise Hoops experience. Go to risehoops.com or follow Rise Hoops on Instagram and Twitter for everything prep hoops. Dan Carter, appreciate the time, guys. Thanks, Corey.